In Ezekiel chapter 6, the Lord pronounced judgment against the people of Israel. God, through his prophet, tells his own special people that he's about to bring war upon them. They'll be killed in front of their idols, and he'll lay their corpses there and scatter their bones around their altars. Wherever you live, the Lord says, there will be desolation. But remember, the Lord always leaves a remnant of his people. In verse 8, the Lord says, But I will let a few of my people escape destruction, and they will be scattered among the nations of the world. Then when they are exiled among the nations, they will remember me. They will recognize how hurt I am by their unfaithful hearts and their lustful eyes that long for their idols. Then at last, they will hate themselves for all their detestable sins. They will know that I alone am the Lord and that I was serious when I said I would bring this calamity upon them. And verse 9 is super important because in it, we see something very important about our relationship with God. See, even though our God is limitless in terms of his power and might, he's infinite in his ability to control all that he created. His heart was crushed. It was broken by his people. And in this moment, we can relate to God. We all know what it's like to have our hearts broken. We too have experienced rejection, unmet expectations, disappointment, and loss. We've had our hearts crushed by someone we love, and we try to patch it up, to recover, to make it right again, but nothing even comes close to God's pursuit of his faithless people. King David declared it over and over again in Psalm 136. He said, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. And that's what I hope you'll remember about this chapter in Ezekiel. Not that the Lord brings war and famine and disease upon His people, but that He never gives up on them, on us. And that true to his word, his faithful love endures forever.